Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, children of God of St. Paul Parish Church family. Um, this message is just for you. And uh, I just wanted, first of all, to say thank you for your continued support throughout all these months that we've been unable to go to our regular routine for masses and services and spaghetti dinners and all of the above. Um, I, I want to thank everyone that's been so considerate with their prayers and helping to upkeep the, the, the financial needs of the church. Uh, as you can see on Sundays, we've been making some, uh, some fantastic um, video virtual masses uh, so that your, your experience, your church experience, can be something at least fruitful. And we have opened up the doors so that after church, you can come up and receive communion here uh, in a very responsible and safe manner, as safe as possible. We sanitize extremely well here. Thanks to our Adoration Society. God bless you, ladies. You do a great job. But when you get out of your car, you can just, you know, come through a set of open church doors. You don't have to touch anything. You walk up the center aisle with your mask on, of course, and uh, you receive the, the, the body and blood of Christ, which is dry. We don't intinct at this point. And uh, then you'll head out down the side and out without having to touch anything whatsoever uh, in the church. We sanitize our, our, our fingers with alcohol, and in between every one we go and wash our hands additionally. So we wear our masks here to keep you safe uh, as well. And um, so what I'm hoping for is to see more of you for communion. I'm typically here in one of the two sessions. I've been here from the 9 o'clock till 10.30 for, uh, for some time with uh, Deacon Angelo, and then typically Gail, Deacon Gail, will come in at 10.30 till noon and finish up uh, the day. Now, we've only been averaging maybe 70 people for communion. While some of the churches and uh, uh, the bishop, uh, God bless them, says, that's fantastic, that's great, well, I'm realizing that's, o that's only a third of our parish that's actually, you know, coming for communion. So I think that there's some of you out there that might be watching this uh, that may have reservations about coming up or you just got into a, a groove of just, or a habit of just maybe watching church on TV and, and calling it a day. You know, the reception of the Holy Eucharist is an integral part uh, of your spiritual life. The body and blood of Jesus Christ here at St. Paul's is so special uh, because he's truly present in that Holy Eucharist. Um, so I'm hoping that you'll give consideration and, um, you know, and stay safe uh, throughout to come and receive communion here in the church. Again, I want to thank all of you uh, for, for your help. Um, of course, we could, we could use a bit more because um, we're actually down to, and, and this is a hard thing to say, but only about a third of our church also uh, has been sending in donations. So it's been getting pretty tough out there. Um, we, we have just this beautiful, beautiful little church here, but it's going to take all of us committed uh, to keeping it going in, in some way. I'm really trying to do my part, um, but I'm, I'm really trying to keep you safe at the same time. We, we make videos like this, uh, I, like on a daily basis. I'm putting them on Facebook and, and Instagram and, and sending them up to uh, the YouTube channel and and actually multi-posting on a bunch of different uh, Christian group sites, just so you know the activity that's going on. Um, you know, we, we've had a, a couple of deaths, unfortunately, and, and just even uh, earlier today, I uh, blessed some cremains uh, of Milan, and uh, I was with Anna May. I'm going to be uh, blessing um, a grave site down at uh, Bushnell, uh, Gene Rikicheski had passed away, and I'll be going down there in a, in a couple of days. Um, and also, I'll be coming back for just a, a blessing and a repast uh, for Joanne um, Kravcik, uh, George's wife. So our hearts go out to all of them who have lost uh, their spouses and, and loved ones. And um, we, you know, we, we just want to make sure that, that they know that we care, uh, that you know that we care, if you have any particular prayerful needs, 
please don't hesitate to contact me. You know, let me know so that I can pray over and, and our Adoration Society, you know, stands ready to, to keep their, their prayers going for, for the needs of people in the church. Um, uh, kudos to our YMS of R for getting together on occasion still for uh, just to keep the, the, the social uh, life and aspect of the church going with the men's group. Uh, it, those of you that are watching, please uh, continue to support that group uh, as well. We've done a tremendous amount of work over this uh, pandemic to making the, the physical property um, that which was in disrepair to uh, you know, make it fantastic uh, in appearance and, and security uh, once again. You know, we just fixed a bunch of uh, cracked walls in the church. We, re, we, we redid our entire men's bathroom because there was a mold problem in there. We had to gut the whole thing and redo the entire uh, men's bathroom. We, we had, a, like usual, we had a bunch of roofing issues and, and we took care of those. We had a bunch of dead giant trees and, and overgrowth that, that we had to have removed because they were a threat to falling onto the rectory. And uh, we took care of all that and put in a, uh, a, a privacy fence. And we, had, and we ended up needing to resod uh, most of the rectory lawn as well because there were uh, broken sprinkler issues from you know, not all that long ago. So we had to replace the sprinkler system, all the sod. We had to put down uh, new mulch uh, all around uh, the area. And uh, we set up a, um, the, we set up a, a beautiful... Um, little uh, video station in the social hall that you see most of these uh, vignettes on that I produce uh, for Facebook as well. Um, so we, you know, there's, there's always uh, a need going on. And th those are just a few things that we've done. You know, we've, we've replaced and updated and upgraded to a brand new audio visual system in the church in order to produce these. Um, you know, just the the sound that you hear right now just coming from me uh, is, is one of those upgrades. We replace all the speakers in the church with a, a very consolidated uh, state-of-the-art system. We, we took our, our soundboard and replaced that with a modernized digital type of soundboard that actually uh, these microphones that you see during Sundays are all, are all uh, plugged right in, they're patched right in, and that goes to the, to the new computer system and software system where it gets downloaded so that, the, uh, the, the, that Ian and, and Kevin, uh, who, who are our technical people, can mix and master and, and make, uh, you know, make the magic for the mass. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. There have been times when you may have seen Clark or, or Kevin playing over there and you're looking at the rest of us at the same time, but they're actually not even there in that moment where we are video uh, filming them after Mass and with that magic of editing, putting them in there to make it uh, a cohesive Mass, um, which is just really uh, remarkable. Um, I'm in awe with, with how this is all you know, working out. We use a four camera shoot so it th doesn't get boring like this with just one, one uh, perspective so that you can see uh, different perspectives and it's seamless and wonderful in how that is uh, produced. You know, uh, Bruce Russell has done a remarkable job for us here in this sanctuary. You know, he built two uh, brand new lecterns, which actually house uh, two of the units for the speaker systems that we have. He made this beautiful credence table over here that you don't see much of on, on film, but if you, if you were to come in and look at it from the top, it's gorgeous. He redid the whole altar. He made a brand new altar for us, and we have these new candle holders uh, that are fantastic. Bruce, uh, you know, put together, we, we talked, and he built a, an urn ark, which, uh, of course, is what we use to house an urn with cremains, uh, you know, during certain services. So these are just the few of the things, again, that we're doing over here. We've always been a busy church, and even though many people or many of you haven't been here that much over this pandemic, we've still been busy. We've still been taking care of our church together, this is your church. This is our church. You know, we, we own this property and these buildings. And, um, you know, hats off to a couple of benefactors that we've had over the last couple of years to actually make this happen. Uh, they've been very generous um, and, and, and helpful. And because of that, 
the church has been able to survive. But we're at a point right now where, you know, um, we have the church in, in, in good shape with all this, but we have ongoing bills that we still need to take care of. So I'm going to ask you to keep, if you're already giving, this isn't for you. But if you haven't been, um, I'm asking you to join in with those, please, uh, to keep helping us here. You know, um, I can't wait for the day. I'm chomping at the bit about, you know, coming together. I was hoping, and I still hope, that maybe something will happen before Christmas. That would be just so wonderful if we could have that Christmas uh, together here in the church. I don't know, though. You know, I ha again, I need to just stay responsible. It's been tough out there because over 38 states are now spiking in the COVID numbers again. Florida remains high as, as usual with its, uh, with its COVID numbers and the number of deaths that take place, you know, every day. I mean, it's over 100,000 uh, cases every month here. And uh, Ocala and Lake County are hot spots once again. So you have to be extra careful out there, especially when you're in public. So wear your masks, sanitize your hands, wash them often, keep socially distant as best as possible, you know, and, and uh, just keep in faith. Thank you uh, once again for everything you do for the church. And let us finish with a prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Dearest Father in heaven, I come before you humbly this day beseeching your mercies upon all that might be suffering, especially those that are part of our church family. Let our prayers be counted as sweet incense and delivered up to you by your holy angel to your altar in heaven. And may your countenance shine upon us all so that we might do the things we love to do in serving you, especially through this beautiful church of ours. And we ask for these blessings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May he descend upon you, remain with you forevermore. Amen.